So, Gabe, what's new with you? I'm making a documentary. What about? Police brutality. Oh, boy. Easy now. Can we maybe not talk about politics for once? Actually meeting a regional organizer for Black Lives Matter tomorrow. Uh. How's that feel? How's what feel? Being a cultural appropriator. <laughs> Touche. See, this is what your side loves to do. You avoid dealing with the message by bullying the messenger. Black Lives Matter is a racist message. All lives matter. Yeah, Gabe, why don't you make a movie about that? Mariah Carey! No. Can I make that one? Yeah, might as well. It's just so adversarial. As if our lives don't matter. Good thing. Hey, hey, hey! Down! Yeah, good thing. Mariah Carey. Good Mariah Carey, down. Down. No saying your life doesn't matter, David. No. It's just bad marketing. Unarmed, innocent people keep getting killed by cops, and you're talking about marketing. Who's innocent? Oscar Grant was innocent. Oscar Grant had a record, illegal possession of a handgun. Don't tell me these people are innocent. He, he was shot in the back, lying face down on a subway platform. It was a freak accident. Except it keeps happening. Trayvon Martin was also a freak accident. Trayvon Martin wasn't killed by a cop. He was killed by an idiot. Tamir Rice. Eric Garner? Eric Garner is dead because he was selling untaxed cigarettes and resisting arrest. The guy was the size of a Mack truck. It took five cops to restrain him. How could anyone know that he had asthma? Because he was screaming, I can't breathe. See, even the marketing there, the I can't breathe shirts, it's just so accusatory, pointing a finger at me as if I was the one who was choking him. You keep, Down. You, you keep talking about marketing. It's, well, because it is marketing that is driving the culture wars in this country, Gabe. We created the conditions in these neighborhoods, and then we send cops into them, and you sit here and defend them when they kill a kid that could just as well have been yours. And that makes you complicit. So yes, yes, David, the, the marketing is pointing a finger at you. Okay, we didn't create these conditions, Gabe. We're Jewish. We came from ghettos, too. Jews enjoy the privileges of being white. Only in New York. What's happening is that people like you and the media are using people like Eric Garner. Isolated incidents to justify your agenda. Freddie Gray was an isolated incident? Mike Brown was an isolated incident? Freddie Gray had a knife. Mike Brown was fighting a cop over control of a gun. If you do that, you might get shot. 12 times? Unarmed kid shot 12 times. Okay, relax. Don't tell me to relax. I just don't think that you're appreciating how difficult it is to be a policeman in these neighborhoods. Try being black in them. Because you would know. We know what it's like to be part of a persecuted minority. Yes, which is exactly why we, of all people, should understand. Gabe, we picked ourselves up as a people because of strong family values and a culture that prioritizes education, not because we said our lives matter. When these kids are playing basketball, my kid is doing his homework. Okay, I don't even, that's just racist. Well, oh racist. my God, that's racist, not racist, really? First of all, there's that's nothing wrong with playing what? basketball. We're gonna Second, play the race card. You're, you're not taking into account the, 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 the no. history. There's your history and there's my history. You're a numbers guy, right, David? Sure. Kid born in a poor neighborhood with high levels of crime is less likely to go to college and more likely to end up no, in jail see, this or argument, shot by a cop no, 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 than, no. than a kid born in this neighborhood. Black people who work for me, they would be so annoyed this by this argument. Now that's this argument, more likely to end up in jail or shot by a cop. All the black people who work for me would be so offended. Than a kid born Just in this neighborhood. Grew up in a neighborhood than a kid born in this house that has nothing to do with your family values. That's. That's just math. There's your math and there's my math. No, there's not. You can't have your own math, your own history, fucking alternative facts. What's the point of even trying to fucking talk about it? Don't talk curse about in front it. of my kid. Right, cursing, because that's his problem. What do you know about problems? You generate no income. You're responsible to no I one. have hey, income. It's not your kind of income. I volunteer. I'm responsible. Oh, we should not your kind of you of you up in Central Park. Why don't we knock down the one of Christopher Columbus and put one of you, you up instead? My teacher says Christopher Columbus was a bad man. He's just right. Ignore Guys. your uncle. Stop it. He's my brother, and I love him, but he's a loser, and these ideas encourage him to well, be I'd rather really be a loser than a bigot. Go upstairs, Jared. You should Stay hear right some of the walk. things he was saying there to me upstairs. There's no seriously. problem with my son. There is seriously. nothing wrong what, what with my son. What do you have him reading? Mein Kampf? Loser. I'm a loser? You talk about money as if you've ever made any. Get a job. I'm raising a child. Raising a child is a job, Gabe. Guys! How does it feel, Gabe? How does it feel to be a complete disappointment? Well, you didn't turn out the way you were supposed to either, so... Is that why you don't have a girlfriend? Okay, enough. Because you're a faggot? Jared. Jared. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Are you serious? Oh. Get out! Now! Fuck out of here! 
Let me see your face. Oh my god, are you bleeding? Let's go upstairs. Come on. Come on. You'll be okay. Are you fucking kidding me?